Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Basil again, and today we're finally opening my Jillios. I'm so excited, if you couldn't tell. I've been like overly excited, so much so that I've been waiting to open them until the right moment, and I think that moment is now. I ordered one of these last week, so that was... I ordered it on a Tuesday and it arrived on Friday, and then I ordered two more this week. I ordered them again Tuesday in the middle of the night and they got here Thursday mid-morning from Belgium to middle of nowhere, Ohio. So very fast shipping. I'm so excited. I can't wait to put them together. So let me just show you what I got. Okay, so first off, we'll start out with this larger box. I picked this one up first thinking I was only going to be getting one item, but in the end, I went back for more. So they all come in dust bags, as with most fine leather goods, fine leather planners. Let's just get her open. <gasps> you all, I can feel it. The quality, immediately. <gasps> it's gorgeous! Oh, I'm in love already. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let me get this box out of the way. This we are looking at is the Croco Eye Grey Mia Cara by Giulio Fuenze. And I picked this one up knowing that it was going to be a lot more expensive than a Campania because you're really getting two items for the price of one. So if you're not familiar with Giulio's, I'll explain in a second when I open it up, but I do just want to go over the outside. These Crocos are amazing. Again, it is real leather, but then what they've done is that they create the croco pattern on it and then the second color for the contrast is actually hand painted on as this was my first julio i wanted to get it in first quality so i did for this one the other two you'll see are premium good deals but i wanted to get at least one first quality just because it was my first so let's open her up See, we have a snap closure here. And then this is what I mean when I say there's really two parts to a Julio Mia Cara. It's what really differentiates it from the Mia Cara and the Campanias. This inner planner portion can actually be removed. So you have really two separate products that are combined so you get the best of both worlds. You have a portable leather organizer and you have a planner. And the only downside to taking them apart is that the planner does not have its own separate closure. However, I would probably always carry them together unless my bag was really bulky for some reason, but oh my gosh, look at that. So let me start with this outer portion. We do have, as you saw, there is a snap closure here. Then on the inside, we have another snap closure here. These are for pockets. It is gusseted, as you can see there. Very nice quality snaps. Then we have here a zipper pocket. So these really nice quality zipper, a full height back pocket here. You see the little pin pocket here. Not a traditional pin loop on the Mia Cara, it is a pin pocket that's in the spine. I probably won't keep it in there and I'll show you why in a minute as well. Um, but I did get... This is the... This is the silver patterned ball point. I don't know how well you can see that pattern on the camera, but it's stunning in real life. So I'll pull this to the side. 
And then you'll see that we have six credit card slots on this right hand side. So you could carry this as a wallet, which is what I'm considering doing. And that's why I got this one first. So I have six card slots here, a pocket here for bills or other, other small paper goods, whether it's a checkbook, something like that. And you could put coins in this pocket. And then you do have at the back a full length pocket. So that's just the leather organizer. And then if I come over here to the planner, here we have three credit card pockets once again in the planner. And then you have a small diagonal pocket that goes across it. I did opt for the 30 millimeter ring upgrade just because it was two euros and why not have the larger rings, you know? Always better to have some little extra space in there. And then I'll show you when this slides back into its little home. Do you see that? There's so much protection for your pages inside. It's like, it's wonderful. And you can really, really stuff this with those 30 millimeter rings. Like this can take a lot a lot a lot of papers on the go and still a relatively small form factor especially for me i'm used to a5 planners so this is a, a little step away from that for me because i wanted something portable that i can take with me on the go okay so that is it for the mia cara let me move on to the next two which i'm going to open as a pair because i got them with a similar mindset to this but with a different look in mind Okay, so these next two I got as a pair, they are both premium good deals. And I was really excited to get them together because I'd been looking at their matte Crocos for a long time. And I asked on their Facebook group about the color differences in person between the aubergine and these, which are the Rosewood Croco mattes. And I was tempted to wait for the aubergines and I was tempted to wait for the undyed, but then I was like, you know what? I love, love, love this deep rosewood color. I think it's very neutral, but has just that hint of warmth. So I was like, I'll, I'll just get them. I know that it'll work. So let's look inside. I'm so excited. Again, we have the dust bags. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Stunning! Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the Pocket XL Campania. These are both Campanias this time, and I went for the XLs in both the Pocket and the Medium I'll show you in a second. And I did that thinking I can carry these together, similar to how the Miyakara is two parts. I was thinking of carrying these as two parts as planner and wallet. So I got this one as the wallet. Again, it has a snap there. Such nice leather. And in this one, we have three credit card slots here on the left, as well as a small slip pocket. We have a secretarial pocket here. You do get a leather flyleaf with these. And then on the back of them, we don't have any more credit card slots, but we do have a zippered pocket and another secretarial. And then we have a full length pocket on the back that you can use for your bills or, or checks, things like that. So I absolutely think this is wonderful. This has the smaller rings in it. These are pocket rings again, but I'm thinking of just keeping a small calendar for on the go with important appointments in here or information that I just want to jot down while I'm going. So this wouldn't really be necessarily a full planner setup, if that makes sense. It'll be mostly duplicate information that I want to have on the go. And I really was excited also for this pen. So let me pull her out so you all can see. This is the new pink pen with the gold hardware. 
So I probably won't carry it with this planner. I'm thinking this will go with my Kiki K Pink Lavender because it is a pink planner that has gold foiling on it. So I thought that this gold and the pink would go really well together with that Kiki K. Okay, and last but not least at all is the Medium XL. So let's pull this out. So again, a new dust bag. <gasps> My goodness. Uh, I'm not over the feel of these mats yet. It's so smooth. It's like the smoothest suede you've ever felt. Wow. Okay, so again, this is the Croco Rosewood mat. This is in the medium XL size. I thought about getting personal wide, but I thought, you know, medium XL will be good enough for me. So, you'll see that this one has qualities of both the medium Mia Cara, but also of the pocket Campania. This is a Campania. So we have here, in this one on the left, we have a zippered pocket, but unlike the pocket, XL Campania. The zipper on the medium XL Campania is gusseted here, so it does expand a small amount there. So you can use that if you're carrying lots of coins or other small bits and bobs that you don't want to stretch out the pocket planner. There is a full height pocket here, as well as a secretarial pocket there as well. Some more protection for the rings. These are, again, the 30 millimeter rings because I know that they can take it, especially in this XL version. I believe they're standard on the medium XL. We have another leather flyleaf here. And then at the back, we have five credit card slots, a secretarial pocket, and then again, we have that full width pocket full length of the entire planner. So the reason I'm thinking I can use this with the pocket together, let me pull this out. So the pocket, like I showed, only has these three credit card slots. So what I'm thinking is driver's license, debit card, credit card, and then, you know, maybe some business cards or whatever info I need right here. And this will be like my go-to wallet, but if I'm carrying it in the same bag, I'll also have this binder, which I can keep in here, an extra credit card, my insurance, my car insurance, and some membership cards, and I'll have everything with me, but I'll have the things that are used more often right here ready to pull out. So that's my thought process for getting these two together. Again, these are both premium good deals, and just looking at them so far, I have not seen any sort of defect, even the most minor, because I know that's how they do it. They have premium good deals and good deals. I see literally like, I can't find the defect. I can't find it. So let me know down below if you all see anything that you would think would have these be premium good deals instead of first quality. I really couldn't tell you. Oh, this is so exciting. I've literally known about them since I lived in France, right next door to Belgium. I could by no means purchase anything like this while I was a college student. So it's so nice to finally have them in hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, look how gorgeous they are. Let's compare the matte Croco and the Croco Eye. Both stunning, absolutely stunning. And what I also really love about these, you can leave notes when you order about your preferences and it's it really is, it's a preference. So it's not like you leave the note and they just give it to you. It's based on what they have in stock. And I requested 
and you can see they got it on two of them. I requested to have the clasp with smaller pebbling and pattern than the front of the planners, and they were able to do that contrast on the pocket, and they were also able to do that on the Croco Eye Gray, where you see we have the contrasting pebbling. I really love that look, but I also love on this one, it looks like, yeah, they got it to line up so well on the actual clasp area. Look at that. That's how you know that they're real craftsmen. So anyways, thank you all for joining me for this quick look at these planners. I hope you have enjoyed. I will be setting them up sometime next week or the week after, which I will post here. I have a few more things from Cloth and Paper on the way, as well as their next sub box will be arriving soon. So we'll see what from that I might want to put into these planners. And I'm debating still on getting an A5. I'm thinking, let me know what you all think about the honey croco mat. I, I'm very interested in it, and they have it in the Campania. So I'm, I'm tempted. I really hate yellow, but I saw that honey and I gasped. So I think that says something. <laughs> Maybe I don't hate yellow anymore. Who knows? Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. Leave me a comment of what you liked the most, what items you liked, uh, what your first Jillio was, and I will see you all in the next video.